Uh, we're going to go one at a time. This lady here, please. My name is Carolyn at Franzen, and I'm a constituent here in uh, South Central. Um, my, my, I do very much appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. My question is this. Why does Canada remain silent, this government of Canada remains silent, on Israel's continued expansion of settlements, while Canada's own policy on Israel and Palestine declares that the settlements are illegitimate and an obstacle to peace? And a, a follow-up is, a, I'm very pleased that the, the Liberal government has, has, non, has removed the censure of scientists why is this government condemning citizens who want to nonviolently uh, express their concern and hold um, Israeli government accountable by boycott, divest, and sanction? of Israeli democracy in a region of the world that unfortunately cannot mirror the freedom that the citizens of Israel enjoy in that part and very troubled part of the world. Canada will use its good auspices. I am a founding member, by the way, of the Arab-Jewish dialogue in Winnipeg which was a path-breaking group of Jews and Arabs who come together once a month in each other's homes to learn from each other, to talk to decision makers about what we believe to be reasonable prospects for peace in the Middle East, to try to export that kind of cooperation and understanding abroad, which we have done. I am very sensitive to the controversies in the region, and I think Canada will continue to play a constructive role. Thank you. 